May the peace be with us. I believe in you. Affirmative. Oh, I can't agree more. I know the moon, and this is an alien city. Fine. White, or say, all colors. Affirmative. Oh, I can't agree more. Ha! Ha! An apple a day keeps the doctor away. It's all right. Don't worry. Weightlessness only. Oh, I can't agree. Affirmative. The star falls towards the sun as the apple drops to the ground. An apple a day keeps the dot fine. My sword shot. Target locked. So long lives this, and this gives power to thee. Affirmative. I believe in you. Extraction of the rain. Fine. Which matters more? Knowledge or strength? We are on page 21, section 3. Miss Z insists on adopting this draft. Miss Z, please walk Madame Constantine through this section. No need for that. I have read the stenographer's report. In fact, this is the second time I'm addressing this proposal. Considering the Integratus has been very determined to its submission, I believe many delegates must have a burning interest in the case. At least it's worth some discussions. Pedro, why do you oppose it? The rise of Manus Vindicte has caused the arcane world to gradually break free from the Foundation. Therefore, we need to monitor what our arcanists think and control what they do in a stricter manner, in case they go too far. Manus Vindicte has a subversive slogan. Their influence has been getting bigger since the first storm, so has the scale of their infiltration. In the Walden incident of 1929, we were given away in advance. It probably had something to do with the infiltration. Very well, a point worth discussion. But it is not relevant to our subject here and now. Stenographer, please take down the point Mr. Rosa just made. That will be the subject of our meeting in the third week. Cats, what do you think? The expectations of our constituencies are on our shoulders. Fear of the Arcanist has grown due to the attacks by Manus Vindicte in many regions. It's not ideal for us to implement the peace policy and promote the arcane technology. To maintain the Foundation's reputation, we have to start with the registered arcanists, strengthen the regulations, and show the public that arcanists are reasonable and trustworthy. That is why I am opposed to the draft. Inspiring. However, 
What a shame. None of you have realized the key factor in this subject. What is the key element that decides whether this proposal will be approved or not? Manus Vindicte? The constituents? No, it's far simpler than those. It's Verton. According to the proposal, Virgin will become the only tie between these unregistered Arcanists and the Foundation. As the number of Virgin's field missions increases, she will inevitably get in touch with more and more unregistered Arcanists. That is to say, outside the Foundation's jurisdiction, a group of people is getting stronger each day. An armed force. Her attitude towards the Foundation will be the key to all the issues. Virgin received her education in SPDM from an early age. She has a clear tendency. Yes, that's what I think. That's also why I have asked someone who can provide a valid argument on the issue to join us. You may come in, Sonetto. Good day, Madam Vice President. Greetings to all committee members. May the peace be with us. The timekeeper is still in treatment. Before she is restored to health, I appoint you to take care of all the relevant matters on her behalf. Copy that. Now, I will ask you some questions. Please answer them truthfully. Clear. Based on your observation, do you, or do you not, think the Timekeeper has been loyal to the Foundation? <gasps> of... of course! All the students of the School of Primary Defense of Mankind are devoted to the peace of mankind. We have pledged lifelong allegiance to the Foundation that leads the cause. That's not what I'm asking. Let's put it differently. Why do you think Verton would provoke other students to rebel when she was in school? I... I do not know. I'm sorry. After the incident of the storm, why would Verton show reluctance to invite the unregistered Arcanists to join the Foundation? Because, um... At one point in her negotiation with the Manus Vindicte, Burton has agreed to join them. What do you think her true intention was? I... That'll be enough. I believe we all have our answers by now. Madam Vice President, uh, according to our investigation of the event in 1929 and Timekeeper's report, it is highly possible that Arcana of Manus Vindicte has the arcane power to influence the sanity and consciousness of others from a certain distance. She is able to exert an irresistible psychic influence on others through short conversations. Timekeeper... Timekeeper was under huge threats at that time. I think all of her responses were out of her survival instinct. This is also one of the survival strategies that have been taught in Chapter 1, Book 3 of Introduction to Strategy, edited by the School of Primary Defense of Mankind. I see. You may leave the room now. <laughs> I... We appreciate the information you just added. You've always been an excellent student. We are very proud of you. Now, it's time to leave and rest. Copy that.
What a controversial issue. What's your view on this, Miss Z? In my point of view, Virgin does have doubts about current system. But doubts doesn't mean disloyalty. In fact, if we want to further expand the staff to contain against the minus van dictate, we need flexible management. Apply customized standards to arcanists with different backgrounds and different training objectives. Through this, not only can we remove the doubts of virgin, but also ease the tension between the Foundation and other unregistered arcanists. You have been very thoughtful. Carry it out, then. <laughs>